I'm Darrell Oster. Darryl Oster. I, I, I'm the founder of um, ET3. ET3 stands for Evacuated Tube Transport Technologies. Cool. It, it's literally space travel on Earth. Okay, long-term goals are to network the entire world together so um, you can travel between any two major cities on Earth in four hours or less. At a tenth of the cost of flying, 50 times more transportation per kilowatt hour of electrical energy compared to the most efficient electric car or electric train. Some short-term goals are getting the first three-mile demo built that showcases every element necessary to network this on a global basis and to scale it out to uh, um, cover, the, uh, cover the entire planet. The um, heaviest air route in the United States is from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Six million passengers per year pay about 120 bucks for a round trip. So if a pair of tubes were built there instead, um, it, it would be so profitable at that $120, allowing passengers to travel when they want to travel, where the vehicles wait on the people instead of the people waiting on the vehicles. Yeah. Instead of uh, when an average of 150 people want to fly, you know, maybe a dozen flights a day, mm -hmm. um, one every hour or two, you could just leave whenever you want to go. Globally, every year, $8.65 trillion is spent on transportation on a global basis. Oh, wow. About half of that is spent to move people and about half is spent to move cargo. If we want to one system that is capable of both, <laughs> th then we need to uh, consider the, the needs of cargo as well as the needs of people. At first it might be the same cost as flying, but it would be more convenient and faster. But then once the system is paid for in only maybe um, two or three years, the cost might drop down to a tenth of the cost of flying. So, so maybe 10 or 20 bucks round trip from LA to San Francisco. It could be built in six months if we really put a focused okay. effort on it, okay. but it would cost a lot more money to tool up and, and to of do course. that. Yeah. These vehicles only weigh 400 pounds empty, but they haul the same 800 pounds as a typical car. Four, five, or six people. Uh -huh. So we only have 1,200 pounds of support to support. If there's two vehicles passing on a bridge span, that's only tw um, 2,400 pounds, just a little over a ton. If you compare that to high-speed rail, high-speed rail has 100-ton locomotives Locomotives and those 200 ton locomotives passing on a bridge span, that's 200 tons to support versus only 1,200 pounds of, of, of weight times two to support on ET3. So this takes 35 times more concrete steel to build high speed rail as the concrete steel to be to build ET3. And ET3, since the, it's not limited by a physical moving switch like the train is, the train can only have one train every uh, um, six to ten minutes minutes, whereas in only 20,000 passengers per hour capacity each direction. ET3 um, can have 10 capsules per second wow. capacity oh my God. in each direction, so that's two over 200,000 passengers per hour in each direction. This, even though it uses a 35th of the amount of concrete steel to build it, mm -hmm. it is um, 10 times the capacity to move people at 350 miles an hour. If you double the speed, the capacity does. So at 4,000 miles, if everything's built to the same same standard in the United States and the same standard in India and the same standard in all these countries, then it can be networked together on a global basis that would allow you to get from New York up across Canada, across Alaska, across the Bering Strait. You would arrive in Beijing, China in only two hours, continue on for 45 minutes and you'd be in New Delhi and another 45 minutes and you'd be in London. And th this is uh, Nick Garzilli, uh, he's the Executive Vice President for Global Development. Hey, Hello everyone. <laughs> Pleasure Nick. to be here, this has been great. <laughs> yeah, sure, go on to the website. Uh, um, if you want to get involved deeply, you can buy a license and, and profit from it. If, if you just want to tell people, refer them to the website. Uh, um, you know, ET3.com and ET3.net. Yeah, everyone has something to, to mm -hmm. get, something to give. Yeah. I mean, my background, I graduated USC School of Theater, oh, wow. and I was a actor and waiter for five years, and then I kind of transitioned out of that into um, into transport and politics. Wow. So, yeah, that's, that's how I got into this. And then when I was kind of expanding my mind, learning more about how to solve societal problems and transportation problems, I came across the, the second zeitgeist, the, the anadendum, and, okay. and the, the 30 seconds he was just talking about changed my life. All right, I appreciate it. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank, thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you.